Thanks for joining us on the cafe. Shortly we'll be back in the Mastercraft kitchen with Mark to make his curried cauliflower. Now though, it's finance time and thanks to Perpetual Guardian Money Matters, we've had a, re a heap of really knowledgeable guests on over the last few months with plenty of great advice. And we're joined again by Charlotte Lockhart today for a recap on what we've learned. Morning, Charlotte. Good morning, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Now, going back over these guests, I particularly liked Robin, who talked to us about, was it budgeting advice? Yeah, and being organised. So Robin is a time management queen, and so being organised is her thing. And managing your money involves a wee bit of organisation. doesn't have to be too much, but yeah, good idea to be a bit organised. And then Hannah, we had her talk about um, knowing yourself, understanding what your spending habits are, and so just being a bit self-aware so you can plan around that. Mm. And we also learned that it's really important to select the right products as well. Yes, exactly. So we had Bruce come on and talk about how to you know, do good things with your mortgage, and Binu came in and told us about KiwiSaver and you know, how we look after that. And we had Anders from Federated Farmers, and he was talking about how you choose the right sort of product you know, when you're in the farming community or making sure that you're choosing the right thing for you mm. and there is so much family. yeah there's so much advice out there and it's always good to put that into perspective yeah and then I think it was Alan and Diana who had some really good points about protecting your assets yes and being involved in insurance so Alan talked to us about what risk is insurance is where that's sort of like life insurance and income protection cover and understanding how important those are because we don't know what's around the corner and Diana came and told us talked to us about keeping yourself safe and asking the right sort of questions of your insurance company mm. one of the tips of course is, you know, what am I not covered for? Well, that's the thing, isn't it? And sometimes they're questions that you just simply don't think to ask, really. No, exactly. And so it's, it's really important to get the right sort of advisors sometimes. Mm. And of yeah. course, very knowledgeable Sue Chetwin, she told oh, us about yes. reviewing your household bills. And that made a lot of sense. And it's an exercise I actually went through. And I was amazed yeah. at what I could actually say. Well, exactly. And Rob Stock talked to us about that in Money Week as well. You need to make sure that you're reviewing what you're doing all of the time. So every year, choose Money Week, for example. Mm. Is it just, just go through those bills and make sure that you're not paying too much or that you're turning those taps off or you're looking for what your electricity supply you're using. Mm. Do you think it's one of those things that we go, oh, that's just a bit too hard, but actually when you boil it down, it's not that hard at all? Well, it's not really. I mean, reality is you could probably get it all done in about an hour if you just sat down with your bills and going, oh, that's probably not, that feels a bit high. Yeah. Um, if you want to stick to a budget and you want to be able to get ahead um, financially, because what you're spending on those bills, you could be spending on or putting into savings. I know. All that holiday would be quite nice right now. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure that's my message. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. I'm just a little bit frivolous sometimes. And you had guessed really helpful advice about speaking up when you're not happy. And I know that as Kiwis, sometimes we are not forwards and coming forwards. No, well, we don't talk about money as a, you know, as, and which also comes back to point number one. You know, you should we should be talking about money as part of our planning. But, but yes, uh, all uh, financial advisors or, or banks and they all have to belong to a complaints process and, and a complaints authority, whether it be an ombudsman or, or or someone like the FMA. So, on their websites will always be information about how to make a complaint and the process that you can follow um, should you not be happy with. Uh, with what you're doing so yeah trying to protect yourself from from difficult advice can be hard sometimes you know we have friends recommend something and it's yeah. like oh this person's amazing uh, which is you know it may well be fine to make, but you need to do your own research too so do some research first and then if you have, need to make a complaint you should be able to find that information mm. on their website and I guess it can be a fairly cluttered message if you've got so-and-so next door and your friend down the street and someone who had this experience as you say, you do need to kind of sit down and do your own research in your own time. Yeah, exactly. And not feel rushed. Mm. Uh, I think that's often, a, you know, a lot of these organisations use a pretty high pressure sales technique. Mm. And so sometimes it's like, yes, that's good. I'll talk to you about it tomorrow. And then understanding your consumer rights around actually cancelling something if you change your sure. mind within a certain period of time. Thank you so much, Charlotte. That's really helpful. And of course, uh, plenty of advice via Perpetual Guardian Money Matters. And we'll see you again, of course, next week.